What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. What's, What's up? up? Rolling along with the Halloween marathon. You guys having fun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> get me right in the spirit. <laughs> yeah, we get closer and closer and closer. Uh, so today I'm bringing some hip hop. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh, is that, is that what you think of? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hip hop hooray! Oh, yeah. hey, exactly. Ho. Um, it's been a long time since I've brought some rap to the channel. I think the last song was Gangstar, Above the Clouds, which is a classic. Um, and before that, I've only brought it like, what, maybe one or two. So you know what I bring it. It's, it's a big deal. So today we have Immortal Technique. Have you guys ever heard of this man before? No. God, no. Mm. God, no. Oh, Not yeah. just no. God, no. No. Ryan doesn't Immortal mess with Technique? The, uh, yeah. There's no chance I heard that name ever in my life. Yeah. Or it, even think a rapper would name themselves Immortal Technique. I, I assume this is like, you know, old school hip hop. Well, we're here we go. Find <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Felipe Andres Coronel, better known by the stage name Immortal Technique, is an American rapper. Most of his lyrics focus on controversial issues and global politics. Uh, he was born in a military hospital in Lima. He is of mostly. Ameridian descent, and also has Spanish, French, and African ancestry. Uh, his family immigrated to Harlem, New York in 1980 to escape the Peruvian Civil War. Mm. During his teenage years, he was arrested multiple times, due in part to what he said was selfish and childish behavior. Shortly after enrolling in college, he spent a year in jail. While he was in jail, that allowed him to practice his rapping. Uh, he had a tough time finding a decent job out of jail, so he began selling music on the streets of New York and battling with other MCs. This, coupled with his victories in numerous freestyle rap competitions of the New York underground hip-hop scene, led to his reputation as a ferocious battle MC. Uh, so no doubt about it, he is one of the more well-known underground artists in rap. He seeks to retain control over his production as his and has stated in his music that record companies, not artists themselves, profit the most from mass production and marketing of music. Uh, he visits prisons to speak to youth and working with immigrant rights activists uh, and raising money for children's hospitals overseas. Uh, and he created a writing grant program for high school students as well. And he's also helped build an orphanage in Afghanistan. Nice. So this guy really uh, turned his life around. All right, so the song we're going with today is Dance with the Devil. Uh, easily his most famous song. Definitely one of the most famous underground rap songs of all time. Um, so you guys, this, the, the title doesn't sound familiar at all. I mean, no. I've heard people use it as a reference all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh really? It's just a phrase. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a phrase. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to give away the context of this song. Um, I have heard this. Uh, I'm going to try not to speak... A whole lot. <laughs> this is your guys' first experience. It's not mine. Uh, the sampled piano beat is from the theme of the movie Love Story, which was a romantic drama made in 1970. There is a hidden track that was recorded along with this, uh, but I'm only interested in the actual song. Um, I, I never really cared for that that second part, whatever that is included. So we're, we're just going to skip on that part, just do the one song. Uh, this is from his debut album, Revolutionary Volume 1, released in 2001. This is Immortal Technique, Dance with the Devil. Knew a nigga whose real name was William His primary concern was making a million Being the illest hustler that the world ever seen He used to fuck movie stars and sniff coke in his dreams A corrupted young mind at the age of 13 Nigga never had a father and his mom was a fiend She put the pipe down but for every year she was sober Her son's heart simultaneously grew colder He started hanging out selling bags in the projects Checking the young chicks looking for hit and run prospects He was fascinated by material objects but he understood Money never bought respect He 
built a reputation Cause he could hustle and steal But got locked once and didn't hesitate to squeal So criminals he chilled with Didn't think he was real You see, me and niggas like this have never been equal I don't project my insecurities on other people He fiended for props like addicts with pipes and needles And so he felt he had to prove to everyone he was evil A feeble-minded young man with infinite potential The product of a ghetto-bred capitalistic mental Coincidentally, dropped out of school to sell weed Dancing with the devil, smoked until his eyes would bleed But he was sick of selling trees and gave in to his greed Everyone trying to be trife, never face the consequences You probably only did a month for minor offenses Ask a nigga doing life if he had another chance But then again, there's always the wicked that knew in advance Dance forever with the devil on a cold cell block But that's what happens when you rape, murder, and sell rock Devils used to be gods, angels that fell from the top There's no diversity because we're burning in the melting pot So Billy started robbing niggas, anything he could do Get his respect back in the eyes of his crew Starting fights over little shit up on the block Stepped up to selling mothers and brothers to crack rock Working overtime for making money for the crack spot Hit the jackpot and wanted to move up to cocaine Fulfilling the Scarface fantasy stuck in his brain Tired of the block niggas treating him the same He wanted to be major like the cutthroats and the thugs But when he tried to step to him, niggas showed him no love They told him any motherfucking coward can sell drugs Any bitch nigga with a gun can bust slugs any nigga Nigga with a red shirt can front like a blood Even Puffy smoked the motherfucker up in the club But only a real thug can stab someone till they die Standing in front of them, staring straight into their eyes Billy realized that these men were well guarded And they wanted to test him before business started Suggested raping a bitch to prove he was cold hearted So now he had a choice between going back to his life Or making money with made men Up in the sight, his dreams about cars and ice Made him agree, a hardcore nigga is all he ever wanted to be And so he met them Friday night at a quarter to three. So, <laughs> what's <Sorry>. a, <laughs> what, what an introduction? Been holding huh? that for a while. <laughs> are you are you following the story? Tell me uh, what you think's going on right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely following the story. It just sounds like you know, it sounds like just somebody in the you know in you know an average place where it's like you know it's a lot of poverty and you know not really a lot around them and trying to make choices to you know survive pretty much usually when people end up going to like drugs and stuff like it's usually a way to like you know get up higher like faster in life because you get money because you know money's like the main power of anything these days so at least you got a real job most of the time you know when the people have those situations they do drugs and sell all that stuff because you notice how he said i want to move up to cocaine because cocaine is like one of the most you know expensive stuff to sell the high dollar yeah exactly so it's like you always start with, you know, you start with the weed and then you go up to, you know, it's like level. It's like, you know, pre, like business pretty much. You know, it's anytime you want to sell, it's like you just keep going higher and higher until you get more money. So I just feel like, you know, he's, he really didn't have a choice. But it seems like you're going to figure out what he, what he wants to do. Because he didn't say what he's going to do yet. So I'm interested to see, you know, what he's going to pick. Either he's going to go with, you know, the thug life pretty much or go back to just being a regular person. Yeah. But usually if you step into that thug life, the thug life is not going to just leave. Oh, it's yeah. still going to be there. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they're always going to be like, you know, you know, don't be coming around here no more. Like, you, you really got to be like, it's either you're in it or you're not. And if you step in it and then, you know, you, you you try to back out, really you're not backing out. They're not going to let you back out pretty much. So it's, it's going to be interesting what he does and what, what's going to happen. Uh, Ty? Yeah, I mean, everything said Ryan. You know, Ryan said it all. <laughs> he stole basically. your thunder. I mean, he really did just explain <laughs> the story. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm curious to see where it's going to go as well. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I know Joyner was after this, but I, I guess, you know, this could be an influence for Joyner Lucas. You know, it just seems, the flow is very similar. Yeah, I can see that too. And uh, I've heard of the beat before. I think the beat's been sampled. Probably. Uh, a couple of times. It sounded really familiar. Yeah, it, it's very, um, like, full of despair. Yeah. And, you know, it really just does sound like bad news. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, it's, it's a simple beat. It, it, uh, it's only changed really one time so far. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I've, I've said this before, with beats like this, that's how you know the song is about the lyrics. Oh, yeah. Because they're not trying, we're not trying to switch it up. You know, we're just trying to have this one steady thing going. So I, I really like it. Perfect choice for this song. Uh, did you catch that, his age right here? Yeah. 13. Mm -hmm. Basically, he's built a reputation at 13 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it said that he snitched. 
it's just like it's just crazy to think as a kid like you're, you're already starting to build a reputation on the streets that's like facts. 13 years old that's crazy like of, of course like when you got like a million people telling you like what to do like you know it's their mind can't handle that so that's that's really crazy to think about and they say that um you know his parents basically aren't there mm-hmm. so i mean that's that's where it starts and i love how descriptive he is in describing this person you know just like with any good story um the more you know about the main character the harder you're going to root for them so i just love how like he's really giving you all the info we can what do you think uh about the the hook here it's it's i mean that's the chorus it's it's really it really just like is a continuation really uh but he ends it with devils used to be god's angels that fell from the top there's no diversity because we're burning in the melting pot you have any idea what that could mean or at least in well, uh, it's biblical your interpretation yeah. yeah it is yeah yeah so it is. It, and it's it's true it's a true statement so it's I, I like it i like how he puts it in there so to me that's kind of like no matter who you are like ho- however you were brought up like anybody can like oh, yeah. turn to evil you know what i'm saying like isn't that really the basis in life like no matter who you are like and just like throw religion out of it i'm just talking about good and bad the angel on one side the devil on the other oh yeah the cartoons yeah i mean at (laughs) at the end of the day isn't that what life is is like are you going to be on this side or that side yeah so he's saying like no matter who you are that's what's happening at the end of the day Mm -hmm. and i'll run it back a little bit just to just to refresh your memory on what's happening here but um again i just love how descriptive he is that that is like the more descriptive you are the the better the story is going to be pictured in your head. Great job of that. So Billy started robbing niggas anything he could do to get his respect back in the eyes of his crew. Starting fights over little shit up on the block. Stepped up to selling mothers and brothers to crack rock. Working overtime for making money for the crack spot. Hit the jackpot and wanted to move up to cocaine. Fulfilling the Scarface fantasy stuck in his brain. Tired of the block niggas treating him the same. He wanted to be major like the cutthroats and the thugs. But when he tried to step to him, niggas showed him no love. They told him any motherfucking coward can sell drugs. Any Bitch nigga with a gun can bust slugs Any nigga with a red shirt can front like a blood Even Puffy smoked the motherfucker up in the club But only a real thug can stab someone till they die Standing in front of them, staring straight into their eyes Billy realized that these men were well guarded And they wanted to test him before business started Suggested raping a bitch to prove he was cold hearted So now he had a choice between going back to his life Or making money with made men Up in the sight, his dreams about cars and ice Made him agree, a hardcore nigga is all he ever wanted to be and so he met them Friday night at a quarter to three everyone trying to be trife never face the consequences you probably only did a month for minor offenses ask a nigga doing life if he had another chance but then again there's always the wicked that knew in advance dance forever with the devil on a cold cell block but that's what happens when you rape murder and sell rock devils use to be God's angels that fell from the top. There's no diversity because we're burning in the melting pot. Hey, let you chew on that a little bit. They drove around a project slow while it was raining Smoking blunts, drinking and joking for entertainment Until they saw a woman on the street walking alone Three in the morning coming back from work on the way home And so they quietly got out the car and followed her Walking through the projects, the darkness swallowed her They wrapped a shirt around their head and knocked her onto the floor This is it kid, now you got your chance to be raw So Billy yoked her up and grabbed the chick by the hair And dragged her into a lobby that had nobody there She struggled hard but they forced her to go up the stairs They got to the roof and then held her down on the ground Screaming shut the fuck up and stop moving around The shirt covered her face but she screamed and clawed So Billy stomped on the bitch till he broke in her jaw Them dirty bastards knew exactly what they were doing They kicked her until they cracked her ribs and she stopped moving Blood leaking through the cloth, she cried silently and 
then they all proceeded to rape her violently Billy was made to go first, but each of them took a turn Ripping her up and choking her until her throat burned Her broken jaw mumbled for God, but they weren't concerned When they were done and she was lying bloody broken and bruised One of them niggas pulled out a brand new 22 They told him that she was a witness for what she'd gone through And if he killed her, he was guaranteed a spot in the crew He thought about it for a minute, she was practically dead And so he leaned over and put the gun right to her head He pulled the trigger and ended a life He thought about the cocaine with the platinum and ice And he felt strong standing along with his new brothers Cocked the gat to a head and pulled back the shirt cover But what he saw made him start to cringe and stutter Cause he was staring into the eyes of his own mother She looked back at him and cried cause he had forsaken her She cried more painfully and when they were raping her His whole world stopped he couldn't even contemplate His corruption had successfully changed his fate And he remembered how his mom used to come home late Working hard for nothing Cause now what was he worth? He turned away from the woman That had once given him birth And crying out to the sky Cause he was lonely and scared But only the devil responded Cause God wasn't there And right then he knew what it was To be empty and cold And so he jumped off the roof And died with no soul They say death takes you to a better place But I doubt it After that they killed his mother And never spoke about it And listen cause the story that I'm telling is true Cause I was there with Billy Jacobs And I raped his mom too And now the devil follows me Everywhere that I go In fact I'm sure he's standing Among one of you at my shows In every street cipher Listening to little thugs flow He could be standing right next to you And you wouldn't know The devil grows inside the hearts Of the selfish and wicked White, brown, yellow and black Color is not restricted You have a self-destructive destiny When you're inflicted And you'll be one of God's children That fell from the top There's no diversity Because we're burning in the melting pot So when the devil wants to dance with you You better say never because a dance with the devil might last you forever story that turned the corner quick it's not where i thought it was gonna go yeah i didn't <laughs> think that was gonna happen either it's it's wild Ooh. see that's and why it, i can't listen to and if that's a true story I can't listen to songs like this yeah if that's a true story that is very sad it probably is probably is he said story. it was yeah. he said he was there yeah. <laughs> literally so and i believe him so from my research um he has said that parts that he has said that it's a true story, except that his involvement is not there. Yeah. <laughs> he actually wasn't a part of that story, but he he actually says that like that he has heard that story though. Yeah, like he the story is true, but his involvement's not. True. Yes, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, if it was like, is he really going to come out and exactly <laughs> say it? Yeah, right. right. So it it always makes you think. So just give me give me your overall thoughts because I think this is really, it, man. It's it's one of the most thought provoking, not only hip hop songs but I think songs in history. I mean that I think that's why it's such, it's so popular. You know, it's it's not just about the turn, right? But it's just about the overall story. Yeah, I mean to me, it's just it's extremely you know sad and dark, and it's 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 very descriptive. Which is really what, you know, it's hard to listen to again because of how descriptive it is. You know, I mean, there's a lot of songs out there that are about, you know, meetings that are supposed to make you uncomfortable. But this makes you very uncomfortable because it's very descriptive. So, but as an MC, you know, as a rapper, you know, he's doing a great job of, of being descriptive to put you in that place and to, uh, you know, put that sense of morality in you where, you know, Make right decisions is basically what he's trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, this is why I can't listen to songs <laughs> like this. Because it's like, I can hear it one time, and I'm good. You yeah. know, but, you know, I do appreciate, like, you know, like, you know, rappers that do this because it gives you a perspective on other people's lives as well. It's like, you need to be grateful what you got because you can be in this guy's shoes and end up the same way. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it's just like, you know, it's like a, it's like a wake up call. You know, oh yeah. You know, and and I and I would believe that you know he's probably dealt with stuff like that himself. Because you know, a lot of rappers they rap about stuff they have been through. It's not about 
what they like well, it's more of what they've seen too and what they've been through but like they're not gonna say it if they've never done it yeah you know what i'm saying it's not like they're like they're put on a show and that goes back to i don't care how long rap's been around that's this that's all they had so it's like for him to come out and say you know make a song like this it just you know it speaks worldly of like you know what you could possibly go through so that's why i think you know songs like this you kind of need songs like this too at the same time you know, but for me, I can't listen to a song like this just because, you know, I just... It's, it's uncomfortable. Just, yeah, it's just not <laughs> something I want to hear. You know, I just not... Even though, it, like I said, it's needed, but I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> I can hear it one time, but I'm like I'm not going to go out and search for, you know, this song to, just to hear about a kid that raped his mom. <laughs> so, because that just... It saddens me, to be honest. You know, it's yeah. something that, I, like, it just doesn't want... To, it doesn't hit. I don't want to hit like feel that feeling. Yeah, and, it's just and there's scary. there's no problem with what you're saying. Like when he made this song, it, you know, he's not thinking like, oh, I hope this makes everybody's playlist. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's that's not. He's just telling the story. It, this he wants is to about hear the, story. the message. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's songs though that can have a message, and I can hear, I can listen to it again. Yeah, for sure. You know, like we did uh, that Jordan Lucas song. Mm-hmm. That's, that kind of has the same. The kid had to make a decision about, and it was a true story. You know, yeah, he was yeah. making this decision and he, to be in the thug life once again. It's like it's all it's all in the same. You know, when you got good rappers, <laughs> yeah. When you, you know, got most good- rappers don't really rap about stuff, I guess, no more. But you know, when the people that are not as famous and you know they they want to put out truth, you know, instead right. of like fame and glory, you know, yeah. Which I understand that part as well. You know, there's I mean, there's you only can you only can do so much, you know. But. You know, stuff like this, you know, is just really, um, you get, you know, you're like really appreciative of people that still want to do this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, this is a song that you'll never forget. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I mean, it, even if you hear this one time yeah. in your life, it's probably going to be one of the most memorable songs you've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you just hear a story, like someone just telling you a story in real life. Exactly. Yeah. If, if you hear it one time, you can remember it. Yeah. You know, I remember that. You know, somebody tells you something about an, an accident they were in, a car accident they were in, or something. You know, like something like that. Like you know, stories stick with you more than you know, a song a song would. But you know, I'm not gonna remember this for the beat or for who's who who's you know, rap this song. Like I probably won't remember Immortal Technique, but I'm definitely gonna remember the story itself. Mm-hmm. Like, oh wait, what was that one song? But I do remember the song. You know, what I'm saying I'll remember the mm-hmm. song and, and what happened. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, the story is almost bigger than the artist because, but that's a good thing yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're an artist that makes a song bigger than yourself. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but you, it kind of reminds me of, um, and, and not the same subject matter, but I'm just talking like in terms of, would you want to listen to this again? You know, we did that. Um, NF song? Uh, well, yeah, you can say NF, but. Foster the people, yeah. Pumped up kicks, oh yeah. Like you, you listen to that song again, right? Yeah, yeah. And listen to that subject matter. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's terrible too. I think it's because it's not as descriptive. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like subliminal. It's like it you is subliminal. You don't really know unless right. you know. <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious what that song is about. Look, I had no idea <laughs> until not gonna lie, TikTok told me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Somebody right. was like, Did and you it was know? on the radio, and people, you know, all you do. Well, the sound of it sounds happy. Exactly. Yeah, right. But, like, if you're actually going to get into it, like, there's a ton of songs like this that right. people listen to again, even though it has a dark subject matter. It's I know the mood. Th- I know this is, like, on a, a deeper level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. This is um, very descriptive. Like, this is on my playlist. I don't really seek it out that much or anything, but it is on my playlist, and I'll listen to it when it comes on. And even though it's a dark subject matter, you know, I just appreciate it just for, um, again, just how descriptive he is, the story itself. Uh, his flow was nice. I really liked the instrumental. So you, you just kind of, in, in the back of your mind, you're just like, man, this is a terrible story. But once you've heard it so many times, you know, um, there's just a numbness to you. So, I, I, you know, it doesn't bother me as much as it does you guys. This is your first time hearing it. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it's still always going to bother me. But I'm saying with songs like this, they, they're put on a different... Um, I don't want to say shelf because I always say shelf. It's shelves. <laughs> they're they're in a different sector because it's it's so dark that you can only listen to it a, a number of times. Right. You know. It, again, I think the overall theme, like you said, Ryan, he's he's trying to. It's almost like advice, right? Or yeah. did you say that? I said that. <laughs> you, yeah. It's okay. basically telling you, you know, you need to make, you know, be conscious of your decisions that you can make. 
Yeah, and the, and this is the exact type of person, you right. know, I, his background. Yeah, plus also I said, remember what I said, once you're in it, you're in it. And what did he do? He ended up killing himself because he knew he was already in it. Yeah. There's no other, there's no turning back. Yeah. So, and he couldn't deal with it, so he jumped off, he jumped yeah. off and killed himself. But that's, I, how, that's, how, that's how big it gets when it comes to that kind of life. Yeah, but I like, to, uh, right at the end, he... He repeats the overall theme, right? There's no diversity because we're, we're burning in the melting pot. He gives you that one more time just to reiterate that no matter who you are, you, you make one evil act, and that just sticks with you forever. Yeah. Even, even if it's as uh, quick as Billy's life was, like, in, in that moment, in that span of time, like, it led to that. So, um it's just it's just a really dark song, but I think I think it's a it's a subject matter that a lot of people would be scared to uh, to rap about. A lot oh, of people yeah. would just even make a song about in general. So uh, I have nothing but praise for this song. Uh, just just for the br- the bravery to even share it with everyone, and uh, you know the, the legend just lives on. So. Immortal Technique, uh, thank you for uh, this contribution to music. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace Peace out. out.